What is going on, everybody? I hope you had a good week so far. I know a lot of other people out there didn't, because it seems Nintendo is terrorizing YouTube channels everywhere. And it doesn't matter what kind of YouTube channel you are. If you just even seem to mention Nintendo Switch and Tears of the Kingdom nowadays, they don't care enough to give a second take and really evaluate your video comprehensively to tell if it actually is detrimental to the Nintendo name or not. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo YouTubers and how much pain Nintendo has put them through, myself included. So a couple years ago, I actually made a video called Top 20 Nintendo Switch Games or something like that. And I remember spending weeks on it. And every person on YouTube has had this moment where they spend a lot of time on a video and put a lot of love into it and it eventually just doesn't pay off. But usually it's because of some random BS that YouTube does. With my video this time around, it was Nintendo that put a claim on it saying I used pieces of their trailer and gameplay. And the thing is, I didn't really use that many clips. I used about eight Eight seconds a piece but these kind of rules with YouTube seems to be flippy floppy most of the time it could be eight seconds it could be four seconds depending how strict the copyright owner is and the claimant in this particular instance was Nintendo so I couldn't really do anything about it and for the most part they claimed my video until it didn't make any money whatsoever so a video I spent weeks on and put a lot of passion into Nintendo made it clear that they didn't want that they didn't care about my passion they didn't care about the video I was making they just wanted the money because I used their name or footage and so from that point on I really didn't put any kind of Nintendo footage in my videos which made it progressively more difficult to support Nintendo on YouTube or talk about them even. It's like everybody's talking about them but nobody can talk about them. But after receiving multiple copyright strikes from Nintendo, I eventually just stopped making videos and saw myself as a fan of Nintendo and not a supporter at that point. And it's strange, most people seem to be making more money from being anti-Nintendo fans than actually supporting them. I'm not sure what the mindset behind this is or what Nintendo is thinking, but there are YouTubers now like Beat 'em Ups, Wolf Den, RGT85 that are huge Nintendo supporters on YouTube and even they are receiving copyright strikes and video takedowns. And it's clear, it's because Tears of the Kingdom is coming out and they don't want anybody getting any ideas to pirate that game or to mod it in any way which is strange because the game looks like a mod you can mix a boulder with a stick i mean it kind of just looks like it's already been modded so i'm not sure how they could even tell the difference if somebody actually modded it but it, regardless if you mention that they don't care they'll just take your video down they'll snipe you all the way from japan and this makes me believe with a lot of evidence that the company themselves are very anti-consumer they don't care about their supporters they just like the money and they just like to continue support because they have a roadmap planned for their event future or end and they're just thinking about the people in the big chairs that are mansion owners and want a future for their family and I get that but you can't support your family and also make a bad name for your family through fear and frustration and I'm not sure why people defend them so blindly when their actions is so anti-consumer when people on the inside Nintendo fans and supporters defend them I guess that makes sense but with situations like this where Nintendo is just a bad guy it just adds a scab to a bleeding issue Issue, which is the Nintendo company themselves. I'm not sure what kind of benefits there are to being a Nintendo YouTuber besides nostalgia alone. Nintendo obviously doesn't need our help or advertisement, but that's wrong because they ultimately do. Nintendo, if anything, is one of the most delusional companies that believe they can do everything all on their own, but everybody needs support from their fans or their family, and it seems making a YouTube channel centered around this company is not a very good idea. And it seems like all the ex Nintendo YouTuber supporters, like the ones I mentioned before, can't say enough of how much they don't trust Nintendo anymore. And how can you blame them when they come out with products that are a centimeter longer so you can buy new cases for it? When their products start to feel homey, they put corporate right back inside of it. And because what's happening lately, this is why I rag on them all the time. They made it clear they don't care what anybody thinks, even their own fans or soon to be ex fans. For some reason, even though they're doing incredibly well, they're at the point where they're so desperate, they're pushing everybody away. I'm not sure if money's making them think this way, but it just sounds like a terrible business plan. This is why I don't want to purchase any more Nintendo products because they made it clear time and time again, they don't like people in general, or at least Americans. Why would I support a company with little to no 
no regard for other people and with seemingly delusional fans defending their abusers. I think that's actually the equivalent to defending YouTube themselves, but sometimes Nintendo makes YouTube look good. I personally only had a handful of Nintendo related content that has done very well. When it comes to the overall pain of other YouTubers that support this company, I share that pain. I've been through the runaround of getting my video taken down or claimed, but now more than ever it seems risky to support this company. And after all the years of people asking them to be a little more open minded, it seems like all they're doing is doubling down and striking even more channels down than before, as well as suing a ton of people. Like that one guy that's going to pay 20 to 30% of his salary for the rest of his life to Nintendo. It seems they just want to be the judge, jury, and executioner of video games, and that's kind of going against its whole philosophy of being thoughtful, caring, and playful. Video games are supposed to be something that you don't stress about. It's supposed to be something you go to to get away from the stress. But I'm making this video with a purpose to let Nintendo know that it's brutally painful to make content about their products because it's just painful to work with them to begin with. And to finally answer all the comments that ask, why do you rag on Nintendo so much? It's because right when you think they're turning good, they stab you in the back and it's personal. So I have a personal bone to pick with them. And right now the Nintendo Switch isn't so great. The only thing it has going for it is Tears of the Kingdom, which after that it seems like they're just going to move on. Was the entire lifespan of the Nintendo Switch good? Well, besides the ton of shovelware and anime boob games, sure. I guess I did get some third party games that I've always wanted to play handheld and it made me discover how it is to experience those games on the go, on a plane, in a road trip. So it has given me great experiences, but at the same time, Nintendo has given people so many reasons not to support their products, and they do make good products, but they don't make stuff that you can't live without. They just make a little handheld that can play Mario games, for the most part, pretty well. I don't think they're a company that we need to bend over backwards for. It should be a company that we can boycott because of the kind of crap that they're pulling all the time. As Nintendo YouTubers, as Nintendo fans, we should let them know what we're thinking because they seem to not care more than ever and sure you could just defend them in the comments for one reason or another but i'm gonna say it right now you're wrong because what they're doing is ultimately wrong people that are supporting them giving their time and their life to them shouldn't be treated this way the super smash bros tournaments and competitive circles have apparently been treated terribly by nintendo and they're the main reason why people are still into super smash bros nintendo didn't do much of the advertisement it's the community that did it honestly the reason why i like nintendo Nintendo Switch is because of Alex CND, Etika, and all those other YouTubers that put their heart and soul into waiting in line to make this amazing content because they love Nintendo so much. They're the ones that got me into it. And it seems like they just stopped or something happened. And a lot of Nintendo YouTubers seem to go through a lot. And I always wonder why. It's probably because Nintendo themselves and the community and just how dark it can get. The Nintendo community is very, very cool, but they can also have an extremely dark and scary side to them. And Nintendo tries to mitigate these issues by taking away bad words like ADHD and stuff like that. And I understand there's only a certain type of way you can do this, which is to be strict. But that strictness also sets a bad precedent to your community and how strict and one-sided they can be, how the lack of open-mindedness could make something more toxic than good. And there's just evidence everywhere that if you support them you're probably going to burn out and that's why i'm a little scared to even talk about them on my channel not right now but in a positive way because i know this is the only safe way to talk about them apparently in a real way i think a ton of people should boycott tears of the kingdom they shouldn't buy it because of what nintendo's doing a lot of nintendo fans don't really care they just want their zelda right and you're saying to yourself yeah i'm supporting the developer yeah but you're also supporting nintendo and the practices that they're doing i mean i'm gonna play tears of the kingdom but i'm not going to support it wink wink because after everything the company has done yes this is personal but i do like what the developer has done but honestly they just need to retire they're so old companies like sony and xbox care about people for the most part they care about what you say and they change up their plans if you give them false feedback but no matter what feedback you seem to give nintendo they just double down and make it worse there was a point in time where xbox was anti-consumer and they clearly saw the feedback and guess what they did they didn't double down on it they didn't start suing people for talking bad about them i personally think nobody should support zelda tears of the kingdom because it seems to be going to the company's head how popular that game is going to be and i get they're an old-fashioned 
fashion gaming developer and manufacturing company that makes their own consoles and their own games. And that's kind of a hard thing to find, but you can find the same thing with PlayStation. And honestly, for the most part, if you played a Mario game, you played them all. Even though Odyssey was really fantastic. I think you could have kind of the same experience with Mario 64. And Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom kind of seem similar. So if there's any ripe time to boycott a company and his video games, it's now. But of course, people aren't going to listen. They're just going to have their own delusions about this company, even though they're doing terrible things. And there's so much evidence against them. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself what you think is right. Because there are people legitimately out there suffering because of this company. As good as their games are, and as far as escapism and nostalgia go, yeah, they've done a good job. But caring about the actual community, they've done a terrible job. They're pretty much like a scumbag parent that only cares about money and themselves. You just have to let them go. As much as it hurts to let a company like Nintendo go and probably fail, they have to learn from their mistakes, just like everybody else. And that's why I'm never going to support them ever again, because of what they've done to people. And it's okay, I'm an adult, I can afford to do that. But if you're a kid, you're probably not going to care, you just like the colors and the fun little games, and it's not your fault. But if you're an adult that knows everything that's going on, you should probably boycott Nintendo because a lot of their user base are adults. So just reevaluate what you think is right and get back to me. And let me know what you guys think about this situation or situations. Do you think it's right to boycott a company like Nintendo? Do you think they should learn a lesson like Xbox and PlayStation eventually did with their classic games and anti-consumerism? Or do you think I'm blowing this out of proportion and Nintendo is just doing what they should? But let's be honest, how many of you in the comments have emulated a game because you couldn't find it anywhere and you just didn't want to pay for unnecessary fees to play a game that's 40 years old. Let's be real, the people that are trying to play these classic games are all adults or middle-aged anyway. So you should have the foresight to know what to do in these kind of situations with companies that act this way. But yeah, being a Nintendo YouTuber is definitely painful. And I hope all of those Nintendo YouTubers out there try to find a way to get around all of this. I suggest not showing Nintendo footage of any kind. If you're a Nintendo Let's Player, then you're pretty much screwed. But there were a ton of red flags that were pointing against being something like that because you have to be an ambassador or approved by them. If being an ambassador limits how you think, like that YouTuber Abdallah, which is completely rated G and just so limited, and he's pretty much Barney when it comes to his opinions. But there are some times that he plays a mature game, which is awesome. But he is definitely limited. When you look at him, you look at corporate cages. And I'm sure he doesn't really care because he's making money out of it, which is fine. But if you want to be a YouTuber that is not limited by those kind of things, then maybe being a Nintendo YouTuber is not the best thing. Because they definitely capitalize on how popular their titles are but there are other titles that sold so much more in its lifetime and those movies have been out for 10 plus years there are other titles that have made so much more than nintendo games the only thing is nintendo games and the company's roots run very deep in the video game industry but it's more painful than beneficial in my opinion and there are other people that could agree with that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you have a good day later